Hey KU fans, welcome back to Allen Fieldhouse. Tom Keegan here, I'm Matt Tate, and we just watched Kansas survive, I think is the way to put it. Fair? Yeah, I think it's fair. And, uh, you know, last place team right. that has had some close games, but Iowa State is winless in the Big 12. Amazing. And the thing is, though, Kansas doesn't have enough to blow as many teams out as they used to. But the other side of that coin is, They've got a great guard in Devontae Graham, and they've got experience in big situations. They're clutch finishers, and that's going to help them in this race. No doubt about it. They're used to winning games like that. And, and they did that exactly tonight. It was uh, an 83-78 victory. They had several moments where they, they, they put it to 8, 9, 10 points, and it yeah. seemed like that was coming. It seemed like this was going to be... Maybe this one gets out of hand and it's a 20-point win. It never did, and I think credit goes to Iowa State for that. They had some big shots. Yeah. Wigington is a terrific freshman. He was really good tonight. Then he turned back into a freshman right. at that time when Kansas is at its best. Right. At the very end, the final two minutes. Well, that would happen when you're going to play 40 minutes as a freshman at Allen Fieldhouse. That's incredible. Yeah. That's absolutely incredible. 27 points for him. Matched by 27 points from Malik Newman, and it came at the time when Kansas just absolutely needed it, uh, not only for tonight, but, but to have a little bit more hope on the outlet going forward. What did you think about Malik tonight? Yeah, he, uh, he struggled a little in the first half and then just caught fire in the second half. Yeah. They were daring him to shoot from the outside because he's been in a long slump, a prolonged right. slump. Right. And it was almost, the way they dared LeGerald Vick, the way uh, Washington dared LeGerald Vick to score in the lane, sure. uh, Iowa State dared Newman to score from sure. outside. It was interesting, a polar opposite approach to defend right. Kansas. It was weird. <laughs> what a weird season, what a weird team. Yeah. That, that's a, a perfect way to, I guess, uh, illustrate that. But I think he was 3 of 7 or 3 of 8 in the first half. Nothing spectacular, but Phil Self started him in the second half. I don't know that that really mattered. I don't know that that was really the reason for the explosion in the second half, but it, it obviously worked. Do you think he starts again from here on out? Or, know, or do we... It was interesting. I bet he does start uh, against Kansas State yeah. on Saturday. If I had to guess one or the other, that's what I'd guess, because look what he did when he started the second half. Yeah, it's hard. Devontae Graham, that's what you wrote about, uh, a very good game. Reminded me so much of those early season November games where he he kind of looked to assist, to rack up assists anyway, and, and get others going instead of worrying about his bucket. Yeah, he did a great job of that, I thought. And he also had two key steals back to back that led to dunks. And this place was so loud, yeah. but for so briefly because they just blasted that heavy metal garbage <laughs> out of the loudspeakers. It was terrible timing. Yeah. I mean, you can hear that anywhere. You can't hear human noise right. that we heard after those back-to-back -back plays. One where uh, Newman ended up with a slam and then he fed Vic on a, a lob. Yeah. And this place, I'm telling you, it went nuts. But then, boom, time to kill that human sure. noise. It was weird. They really do have to look at that. They do. Because, yeah, Graham has that great symbiotic relationship with the crowd. These other guys don't. Yeah, they really needed a night like this for the fans. Because the last time they played this well in here was against Omaha, and no one really counted that game. Other than that, though, it was Arizona State and it was Texas Tech. And neither one of those games really gave the fans that much to cheer about and certainly left with a, a bad taste in their mouths. So um, a lot of emotion tonight, a lot of energy, a lot of fun. Smiles, faces, reactions, that stuff was back for Kansas, and I think it played a big part. Uh, they played Kansas State here on Saturday. Um, tonight, Texas Tech lost at Oklahoma. Right. Both of those teams are now 3-1 and one in the Big 12. Kansas is 3-1 and one in the Big 12, and West Virginia held on for dear life in a low-scoring game against Baylor at home, and they're 4-0. So 4-0, 3-1, 3-1, 3-1. Is it going to stay that way all season? Well, every one of those outcomes you mentioned doesn't get a point in the Bill Self way of looking at the standings. <laughs> right. Because he only assigns points to road wins. Right. For Tom Keegan, I'm Matt Tate. 83-78 KU over Iowa State tonight. We'll see you here Saturday morning, 11 a.m. tip for KUK State, the Sunflower Showdown.
Thanks for checking out tonight's KU Sports Extra.